In another video, I explain how to doblar las palmas, how to play simple contratiempos, simple contras, and we practiced a lot together. And I hope you practiced and you keep practicing that a lot. Today we'll see how to redoblar las palmas, how to play double contras. Hi, this is Guillermo Guillén for Flamenco Maps. Welcome to my channel. Whether you sing flamenco, you dance, you play guitar, you play palmas, you play cajon, or you just love it and you want to understand better how it works, let's keep practicing palmas together. Because remember, everyone must have very good compass and very good palmas, not only the palmeros or palmeras. Remember that doblar means to double. So where we had one palma, we double and we have two palmas. We can go further and redoblar, redouble, double one more time, where we had one palma on the beats. Now we have four palmas. It's a very nice and powerful effect. Look at this remate, very nice and very crisp remate por tango de los Meijis. We can use this to rematar a compass de alegría, for example. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. You can find this in bailes, for example, and it can last for more than one compass. We are in binary subdivisions. When we doubled, we had each beat divided into two parts, two notes per beat, ta, ka. The ta is the beat and the ka is the subbeat, the contra. Now we again divide each half beat into two. So we have each beat divided into four equal parts, four notes per beat, ta, ka, ta, ka. So here the first ta is the beat, the second ta is the main subbeat and the cas are their respective contras in between. So this is doblar ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta and this is redoblar ta ka 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 ta A little thing here because there is often confusion with this. When redoblamos, we could consider that each ta is a beat and each ka is a contra. But if we did that, we would change the reference speed. We would double the tempo. But no, here the tempo remains the same. The subdivisions are twice faster. This is why we call this redoblar. It's not the same in alegría that goes at 120. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. As an alegría that goes at 240, double tempo. Un, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. So the first thing you can practice here is the change of flow rate with the same stable tempo. We start with tacas and then we switch to taca taca. With el tito, first at 70, for example. Taca, 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 taca. Same thing at 120. Taka 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 So let's start with our double contrast. We set up a very slow tempo with El Tito, 60 BPM. We start marking the beat with our foot. And we start singing the subdivisions. Taka 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 ta. Now the same thing, but we emphasize the ka instead of the ta. And now only the ka. 
For the palmas, we need two palmeros. The first palmero plays what we call la base, the bass. It means the beat and the main subbeat, the taz. And the second palmero plays the redoble, the little contras, the cas. If you have the opportunity to practice this with someone, it's much better. It's ideal and it's much funnier. Otherwise, El Tito is always here to help us. But if you are two palmeros practicing, it's always very good to switch roles, the first and the second palmero. Because even playing la base, the bass, the job of the palmero number one is not that easy. You have to maintain a constant speed and keep a very stable, steady tempo with a nice sound. Otherwise, the palmero or palmera number two, even if he or she is the best palmero or palmera in the world, won't be able to redoblar. But here and now we are going to practice together the role of the palmero number two, the one who redobla. Let's practice a little together. And for the occasion, I put on my best socks. Exercise one. Slow tempo with El Tito, 60. We start marking the first taz, the main beats with the foot. Then we sing only two redobles with the cas. Only two. Ta -ca -ca -tan. Then with the palma. And we continue marking with the foot. And we repeat this sequence. Ta -ca -ca -tan. Ta -ca -ca -tan. What we are doing here is internalizing this physical sensation. These two palmas are like two bubbles floating in the air. Now let's do the same exercise but playing redobles during two beats. And now uninterrupted. The foot is also part of the sound of the music of the sonicete. But there is another advantage to using your foot. When practicing palmas, the use of your foot marking beats or accents is very, very important. You develop a physical and rhythmic sensation by synchronizing your palmas with your foot. Now we understand that technically with the palmas, it's the same doblar at 200 BPM. than redoblar at 100 BPM. So redoblando at 100 BPM, you could mark all the tas with your foot, both tiempo and the main contra. But when the tempo goes faster, you won't be able to mark the second ta with your foot for long. So keep your foot only on the main beat, on the first ta. And the physical sensation, the synchronization between palmas and foot is very different, even if we do the same thing with the palmas. Let's look again at this example that we watched before, but now pay attention to their foot. They are doing with their foot what I just explained, right? And like this, you can go for a much longer time.
Now we have two cars in between each beat, in between each foot with a specific distribution. And you can feel in your body that everything is much more in the air, right? Tunka, ka tunka, ka tunka, ka tunka, ka tunka. That's the sensation, the physical sensation that we need to practice and develop. Another interesting sensation to find. The first beat makes us take off towards the first palma. Taka. And the second palma lands on the second foot. Katan. And then you have this in a loop. Taka, ka, taka, ka, taka, ka, taka. The difficulty here is to make sure that everything is in place, that the cars are precisely where they are supposed to be, otherwise we are not uh, redoblando properly. This, for example, is not good. Because here we are doing ternary subdivision. Ticota, 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 ticota. But we want binary subdivisions. Taka, 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 taka. Listen to the difference. Binary. Ternary. Binary. Ternary. It's different, right? Once you have this, this sensation, we just have to increase the speed. Don't forget to mark with the foot. 73 BPM. One, two, three. And now 82 BPM. Ninety-five BPM. One hundred and twenty four BPM. One, two, three, e. One hundred and fifty one. Why fifty one? One hundred fifty one. Just because I like it. One, two, three, e. Conclusion, practice a lot, slowly, faster, slowly, faster, a lot, a lot, a lot. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it could help. If it helps, you can also help me by liking this video. Please subscribe to the channel, share the video, leave me a comment and tell me if this kind of exercises is useful. And also go and visit flamencomaps.com where I explain my classes, my courses and my way of teaching flamenco. I see you there. Till then, don't forget, play palma.